Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning April 8th, 2019. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Happy birthday, Aries. You can also watch this if you're dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon or Rising. And as always, just keep in mind these are general readings. So let's have a look at what is coming up. I'm going to do a bit of a different format. Um, and just see what we get here for you, okay? Okay, and I'll be adding cards um, to these as well. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Mother of Cups or the Queen of Cups as your overall energy. So with the Queen of Cups, this can talk about an actual person in your life, in which case it would most likely represent a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. Um, definitely water sign energy, or someone who embodies the traits of a water sign energy. Um, alternatively, the Queen of Cups here, it can talk about a focus on children, focus on motherhood. It is a very, very nurturing card. I feel that for some, you're either taking time to nurture yourself during this time or you're nurturing someone else. Um, for some, that's nurturing someone back to health. Um, it's also very protective energy. So I feel that you're either very protective. Well, you're, you're very protective of what you love. And for some, that's going to be a person, your relationship, your home, um, a child your health or a job a career or business whatever the case may be okay so let's see so in the current situation we do have the three of cups the three of cups is a very celebratory energy um it can talk about again with the mother of cups it can talk about taking some time to celebrate with a water sign cancer scorpio pisces or celebrating motherhood celebrating a pregnancy and it may involve a water sign there uh, cancer scorpio pisces this can also talk about um promotion for some something is growing something is expanding with the number three there okay um and of course it can be a focus on your social circles or a focus on networking advertising promoting yourself getting the word out there um attending particular events during this time okay um can also be what this is about the challenge we have the six of cups so the challenge with the Six of Cups, okay, for some of you, because we're getting a theme here, for some of you, there's a water sign that's trying to come back into your life or you're hoping that they come back into your life or you're trying to go back in their life, whatever the case may be. Um, the challenge is if you want it to work this time, it's going to have to be different than it was before. It can be the same or it will end the same way. Um, for others, this talks about your present in your present you're doing quite well and maybe this is a card that talks about the fact that you're single and you're mingling or you're spending time with your friends with your loved ones and so on and so forth and then the challenge might be a water sign that's trying to come back into your life okay during this time let's see so in the foundation we have the magician so this is coming up a couple of different ways for those of you that you know you're dealing with someone's trying to come back into your life this is them okay this person uh, was manipulative potentially they knew how to play on your emotions or they were very emotional or they're they were very very um focused on themselves okay with this energy um i feel that you know it was a, a one-sided situation where they wanted all the attention all the love or all, all the everything but then they didn't know how to respond they didn't know how to re uh, process respond reciprocate <laughs> and there we go got it out um for others of you if you're celebrating something new into your life coming into your life the magician in the foundation is telling you that this is something you've been working on consciously and subconsciously um for a while and that's why it's coming up okay and the challenge with the six of cups becomes about be in the present okay don't so if the magician reminds you of a time when you've had to struggle in order to manifest this particular new beginning, then the Six of Cups is asking you to be in the present, see that it's actually happening, and don't go into defensive mode and don't go into fear energy of, well, I, can I really celebrate this? Is it still, you know, 
a work in progress? Can I enjoy it? It's just asking you to be in the present. Now in the past position, we have the mother, mother of Pentacles, and this is the Queen of Pentacles. So in the past, this could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn energy for some of you. Um, it may represent, you know, someone, how can we say this? For some, you're dealing with two people. One of them is in your present. You're just getting started with this person, whether they're a water sign or an earth sign or whatever sign they are. You're just getting started with them. You're just getting to know them. And then there might be a person from your past or thoughts of a person from your past, okay, an ex coming around. And that's what you're dealing with. For others of you, this is talking about, this is definitely around pregnancy, getting pregnant. Maybe you've been trying for quite some time. Um, and for others, this is you investing in your own business or you investing in your own career um, or, you know, your own home. It just depends what it is that you love and that's the focus for you during this time. Um, and the fact that you have, once again, because the Queen of Pentacles is someone who likes to think ahead, someone who's practical in making long-term plans and long-term goals. So one of them long-term plans and goals is what is now being manifested, okay? In the crowning thoughts position, we have the devil. So the devil can represent Capricorn. It could be this earth sign, if that's what this is about for some of you, and it's just saying that they're on the mind. Uh, for others of you, this is a question around finances. Again, don't go into fear mentality. That's your challenge. Um, and an old way of doing things is no longer going to work. An old way of doing things will hold you back now. So that's why they're, they're telling you, be in your present. Look at what is here now available to you. Use that. Um, trying to do things same old, same old way is not going to work anymore. Okay, And that could be with whatever it is that you're dealing with. For others of you, there is helping someone through a recurring cycle or helping someone through recurring um, addiction, perhaps, maybe drinking with all these cups, uh, but anything where you, you take it to avoid reality, to escape reality, okay? Um, and you may be helping someone through this, okay? Or this is you and someone else is there for you. And in the outcome, we have the Mother of Wands, and uh, this is the Queen of Wands. So you have three mother cards here. So for some of you, this is definitely about motherhood, getting pregnant or giving birth during this time of focus on children, very strongly so, or grandchildren, depends. Um, especially after a, a time of trial and error, perhaps, where it, it was getting to a point where you were starting to lose hope, okay? For others of you, the Queen of Wands can talk about a time of you choosing to be single. So if someone's trying to come back into your life and they have not changed, you will see through them. And this is you not being afraid to protect your heart because that's what she does there. She protects her heart. She, she protects her um, her babies, if that's you know the case. Um, doing what's best there, okay? So not allowing negativity or toxic energy to affect what you are growing to affect what you are uh, planting okay is is what i'm seeing there so for some that's what that is you're like no i'm happy single um this is not happening for others again very strong focus on children here this is also about starting fresh and starting over nurturing something new very nurturing energy with all the queens here so let's see what else we're getting So, in addition to the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups, we have the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is around a job situation. Absolutely, you're just getting started with it, and it's something that you've always wanted to do. It's something that's a dream for you, and that's what this is. For others of you, you're going back to school or going back to a job maybe after, you know, you're coming off maternity leave and they're going back to work. Um, and that's what that is. For those of you, this is working on yourself, working on your health, working on your finances, your business. And again, see, this is something that has been planned out and now is the time when you get to actually enact it, when you get to actually do it, okay? With the Magician, we have the Temperance card. So 
again, this is, if it's about manifestation for you, if that's what the magician talks about, it just says that, you know what, this has been in the works for quite some time. You've had to be patient with it. You've had to know when to push, when to hold back. You've had to, you know what I mean? So it wasn't, it hasn't been easy, but you have tried to rely on your spirituality to get you through this. And you have tried to um, stay patient and believe, keep your faith that everything is playing out the way it's meant to. For those of you, the Temperance card can represent a Sagittarius energy, while the Magician can be Gemini, if that's significant for any of you. But this is something that has been a long time in the works and a long time in the making. And the pieces had to be just right. The pieces had to come together just right, because that's what the Magician is. It's using the resources in a way that they create something new. And the Temperance card is bringing two things together and making them blend nicely to create something new as well. So it's just bring that back up with the mother of pentacles we have the father of wands so the king of wands now this could have been a couple that you were part of um and, and we have water 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 sign energy yeah uh, earth sign energy and then fire sign energy but regardless of the signs of the people because we don't know what's going on in someone's chart so i don't like to just say yeah this is definitely a water sign sun sign or whatever for some this is about a couple that didn't last didn't work out and i feel like if that's the case it's because you had different priorities uh or you didn't see the future the same way okay or you weren't working towards the same future basically if that's the case um and for others of you this is definitely talking about the time when you took action upon your long-term plans and that's why you have your three of cups now okay now with the devil we do have the nine of cups here so again this can be about indulging over indulging these two together are not the best combination uh, it can be someone who's not seeing things uh, for what they really are because they are uh, trying to escape reality maybe again through some sort of addiction uh, we have cups again, so it can be drinking, but anything that you take to escape reality, basically. Um, and it's just saying someone is just either trying to avoid looking at a situation and something that they've always done to keep themselves happy, or this is a wish come true, but it comes with sacrifice, it comes with strings attached, it comes with, and that could just be a contract, you know, uh, or something like that that you sign up for, but it can be with strings attached of, of any other kind. Um... For those of you, this is just being the thought and the, the what you're working towards is being self-sufficient, independent when it comes to your finances and making yourself happy. So that's what that is. For some of you, that's what you're focused on. And it is simply that. And with the Mother of Wands, we have the Death card. So definitely a time of change and transformation. Very beautiful transformation for a lot of you. You have the potential to have a new beginning where it's about something you've been thinking of, planning, envisioning, uh, working on manifesting for quite some time. You do have to let go of the past completely in order to do so is what I'm getting here. So that can be an old person, place, job, situation, way of thinking, way of being um, in order to have this beautiful new beginning. But um, it's definitely available. It's definitely there for you. Okay. However, this applies, however, this makes sense. It is definitely there for you, but it does talk about sacrificing the old in order to have it, okay? And we have the Hierophant here. So again, this is Earth sign energy, potentially a Taurus individual. And this person could be the person who gives you this new beginning, who helps you get this new beginning. For some, this just brings in the element of um, the end of a relationship, the end of a commitment, okay, that has served its purpose and it's been dead a long time ago for a while it's been dead really just letting go of that so that you can have this beautiful new beginning for others it is a, this new commitment okay that's coming up that gives you the opportunity to have this beautiful new beginning but again you have to sacrifice the old just let it go and it's not like you're letting go of something that's still there this has been dead a long time okay so it's just about clearing it from your energy Okay, so that's your reading. 
really really interesting week here let me know how these cards apply to you if they do you do have quite a few major arcana so um it's a powerful week and an empowering week because you basically get to tell the universe what you want but you have to commit to that and when you do see this new energy come in it's it's very important that we adapt to it that we embrace it and allow it to transform us within and around ourselves as well okay if that makes sense so let me know what you think uh remember to watch your sun your moon your pisces <laughs> your sun your moon your pisces your sun your moon your rising watch pisces i don't know um yeah have a great week and i'll talk to you soon bye for now